A charity based in Leeds says the number of families it's helping who are living in severe food poverty has trebled in the past 18 months. Flourishing Families has worked with more than 800 people in the last school year and three quarters of those now report having to skip meals because they can't afford food. Our investigations reporter Sabir Pavez has spent some time with their volunteers. Oh, hi Amanda, how are you doing? Hi Kate, I'm fine. Amanda's from Bramley in Leeds and she's preparing for Christmas with her young son. But times are hard. This year there are no luxury items on the Christmas list. Amanda's having to sacrifice her basic needs to put her family first. Sometimes, you know, it's I have to go without food for my son to have. Um, how often are you having to do that? Like, once or twice a week. See you soon. Bye. Amanda's not the only parent skipping meals this winter to make sure her child doesn't go to bed hungry. Flourishing Families helps families like Amanda's. The demand for their services has grown massively since they began working in Leeds six years ago. And this year is the worst they've ever seen. It's often the case that you can uh, drive round or walk round a place and um, it appears on the surface that everything is OK, but actually poverty can be a really hidden issue. Over these last six years, it's got worse and worse. And now there's the perfect storm of post-Covid, of high inflation, of the cost of living crisis. It's absolutely desperate for many of these families. 46... 47. It's estimated around one in five children will go without fresh food, a warm home or a celebration this Christmas. So flourishing families are preparing hampers to ensure as many people as possible can enjoy the festive season. So today we're going to be making curried mince and we've got a bag of rice for you to take home to have with it and a cucumber and bag of tomatoes as well. The charity also offers weekly family cookery clubs in primary schools across Leeds. The aim is simple, to teach healthy, affordable recipes that can be repeated at home. Yeah, we have to cut back on everything, so, yeah. As, as gas and electric runs out on a daily basis, we, we are struggling at home, but thanks to these, we get a lot of help. I feel quite excited because I love learning how to cook, so I could help with my mum at home. In these sessions and through their emergency interventions, the charity are seeing firsthand how desperate the situation is and they're really worried about the future. In every single cookery club, I, I do come across a family where either the parent hasn't managed to eat because they can't afford it or the child's had to skip breakfast or they've just said, look, um, I desperately need some help. Is there anything that you can do? My biggest concern is that kids are going to starve this winter um, and that they're not going to... Sorry, I think I'm actually going to cry they're not going to have enough food to eat because the cost of living crisis, it just it hasn't gone away. 